Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for August 9th, 2022. Well, yesterday turned out to be probably a little bit disappointing. We popped up early in the day, ran into some sellers, pushed us back down in what proved to be a very low volume, choppy day in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the day. And honestly, it may turn out to be just another day of hurry up and wait as um, we have that pending CPI number just around the corner Wednesday morning. Let's take a look at what we have going here. Couple of um, shooting star type tops up here, uh, but with that uncertainty about what comes next in the CPI number, I think we're really setting up for a potential big move, um, a significant move. Um, we're wound up on a whole bunch of emotion, a whole bunch of uncertainty here in the market. And that possibility that we could pop big to the upside, certainly possible that possibility that the bears take over and we pop significantly significantly to the downside is also very possible as we're wound up on tremendous emotion here in the market now i would say we are still maintaining this upside trend yet uh, the selling the last couple of days here in the dow trading days anyway um, in the dow haven't created any technical damage in the chart and as a matter of fact we continue with these earnings reports that have a significant mix in the results we continue to flirt with this upside area here um, with tremendous hope that everyone um, you know everyone wants to see that uh, this downtrending market is over but there may be there may be some risk in, in overly anticipating um, that move because, um, again, we could catch that pretty big break here depending on the market. And I don't think anyone really knows which way that's going to go. So be careful here. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Also, SPY, right there at that price resistance, struggling in here, our upside trend remains intact. Certainly, we have some price support in this chart. We haven't broken any support yet, but once again, we run that significant risk that we're winding up for a big move, and unfortunately, we just don't know which way it might go on that CPI number, and probably more importantly than the CPI number, what does that mean for the future actions of the FOMC? How aggressive will they be? We have heard from multiple Fed members here that rate increases are still on the way, and to expect them to be in the same size that we have seen here recently. So, um, Boy, if this number were to come in hotter than expected, like the jobs number last Friday, that would be uh, potentially a bearish shock for the market. So just make sure you're planning carefully and you're protecting your capital here. If we take a look at our NASDAQ QQQ, well, QQQ started off with a good move yesterday morning, but quickly faded. Um, as those bears kind of took over right here at that downtrend resistance and um, we struggled here a bit on the day seeing some of the big techs uh, pulling back here just a little bit with that uncertainty. Now upside trend remains in play and we certainly have price support in the chart. We've broken no price supports were holding in there technically strong on that chart but once again we run that pretty significant risk of a pop one way or another when we finally reach that cpi number tomorrow morning let's take a look at our russell now interestingly enough our russell had the best day yesterday out of the indexes with those small caps popping pretty strongly popped up and we actually held on to some green here on the day yesterday pushing through some of these resistance levels so right now the russell is leading the market 
market trying to show us hey we're all bullish and um, trying to convince us that maybe we'll hold up here and maybe move on higher so keep an eye on that Russell um, small caps are starting to come around and show a little bit of strength now once again if we were to disappoint with that CPI number small caps might be uh, the most heavily punished as well so make sure you're planning your risk carefully heading forward into this number that uncertainty is likely to create um, a pretty big emotional move when that number comes out either up or down and I have no idea which way it may move let's take a look at our VIX our VIX um, was kind of interesting yesterday. It started up um, as we were rallying hard yesterday. The VIX was moving higher and then the VIX faded and came down and came close to breaking the Friday low before uh, turning around and pushing back up just a little bit, just kind of leaving us a day of uncertainty. And I think that's, uh, you know, the word for the day and probably the word for today as well, um, as we're still running that uncertainty. However, having um, said that, we still have the bulls in control here in the chart. Maybe a little bit of complacency building in to this market but we'll want to watch that close so bulls remain in control but i think we should be cautiously careful here um, about how we plan our risk in our portfolios heading into this big number let's take a look at our vix excuse me our t2122 our t2122 taking a look at that um, we pushed up yesterday, um, at, early in the day, we pushed up here. We were nearly up here at 97, 98 in our T2122. So this has been a remarkable hold up here. We continue to linger and linger and linger in this area up here. The bulls don't want to give up. There's a lot of hope, a lot of anticipation, a lot of um, big emotion in the market. We even saw it in meme stocks that just shot up um, yesterday with no apparent reason as that speculation has really pushed to kind of a fevered pitch here in the market, hoping we can break through those resistance levels. Now, I'm not saying we can't do that, but what I would suggest is even if that number is relatively good tomorrow, we may run into some problems just simply because we remain so elevated here in the market. So we do have some upside potential that could uh, push us um, higher if we can find the catalyst, but it's not a big upside potential looking at T2122. It, it's that downside potential that's looking pretty large. So you'll want to be thoughtful of that if we happen to whipsaw intraday here. Uh, low volume days are pretty pretty uh, well known for institutional whipsaws. They they generate some activity. They whipsaw the market to create some, uh, some movement. They can make some money. But unfortunately, if you jump on those moves, you can get damaged pretty quickly as it whipsaws back. So be kind of careful here. They may try to uh, get some moves going in either direction. And I would be really careful um, over trading this market today because it's going to be a lot of hurry up and wait. And then if we take a look at our T2107, T2107 did a good job yesterday. We popped up a little bit higher here. Like I said, the small caps moving pretty strongly and we may be trying to peek out from underneath that downtrend here in T2107, but you'll want to keep in mind the price resistance in this chart. We're right up there where we have failed before and we want to consider that. Not saying that we will fail, but we want to consider that carefully as we consider our risk. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now T2108, even though we had a, um, th some of that uncertainty in the charts yesterday, Notice that our T2108 continues to surge. We're pushing up here to some very high levels in T2108, showing us that really heavy speculation here heading into that number. Now, there should be some caution out there, and even Bank of America came out yesterday suggesting 
uh, to be very, very cautious here because they see the potential of more downside in the market. So watch that carefully and don't over trade this market in case we get that big whip that could occur on that number tomorrow. So watch that closely. But you got to give this up to the bulls. They've really been tenacious here, pull, pushing, pushing, pushing to the upside. The problem is we're just not seeing that momentum follow through or the volume to really keep that going. And I'm going to skip right over T2101 today because if I go right back to the diamonds, you're going to find out what I'm talking about here and that our volume remains low. Even as we push, push around, try to go up, try to go down, our volume remains low here in the market and um, it does raise some questions on the momentum and whether or not institutions are really committing uh, to this move yet so be kind of careful let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today and our economic calendar not that busy a day here um, as you can see we've got a productivity and cost number coming in Consensus is expecting that number to come in as a negative number, but better than the last reading on that number. So we'll want to watch that closely. Not likely to move the market a bunch because everyone is worried and um, anticipating this CPI number on Wednesday. So kind of keep that in mind. We do have some short-term bond auctions, which might be interesting to pay attention to because our 12-month uh, bond auction or 12-month bonds are now inverted over the two, the five, the tens, and the thirties this morning. Um, kind of an interesting situation seeing such a low end curve inversion in the market that does not bode well for the market. Um, depend, even though we're trying to ignore it and we're trying to say nothing is wrong here, there is. Um, some suggestion in those bonds that maybe there is something wrong. So uh, pay attention and make sure you're protecting your capital in case something changes. Now, if we take a look in here, we've got mortgage applications. Those have been pretty rough here recently. Saw uh, an improvement last week, but they've been pretty rough. Our CPI number, which of course is going to be a big deal tomorrow. And then that petroleum status, we do have Evan speaking tomorrow and a 10 year auction, which may be important to take note of. And then a treasury statement as well here at 2 p.m. So keep an eye on that. And unfortunately, that's not the end. We're going to jump right over here into Thursday with jobless claims and that PPI number. So we'll want to watch those carefully and closely. Who knows uh, what happens next on those numbers? Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. And our earnings calendar is a busy one. We have over 250 companies listed on the calendar but a good number of those are small caps and a lot of unconfirms in there. But we do have a pretty good list of notables here this morning. Um, uh, first off, AKAM will be reporting today. You'll want to keep an eye on that. That's one of those that could move the market uh, around quite a bit. And then, of course, um, Coin. Um, Coin is, you know, a very, very popular, um, highly speculated on stock. This will be reporting today. Watch this as we test this downtrend resistance in Coin. Um, we've got a little cannabis in here. Uh, Crone will be reporting. Oof, that is a hurt. That, that, it's getting thumped on here this morning. Uh, we're going to hear from Go Grocery. Uh, this has been an amazing upside run here um, lately as groceries and food prices continue to be a concern uh, for the consumer. And you can see that's been moving up sharply. So watch that one close. We're going to hear from um, some hotels like um, the Hyatt um, hotels. We're going to hear from Planet Fitness. You might want to keep an eye on some of those. Planet Fitness has rallied pretty strongly right back up into price resistance levels in the chart. We've got Ralph Lauren coming in. Looks like they popped this morning, but pulling back here pretty quickly in a bit of a whipsaw. So watch that one. And how about Trade Desk? 
be watching that one today. This has recently broke that downtrend in the chart, as you can see, trying to push up um, through that level. This could be an important report in here to see how that handles this area in here. And last but not least, we're going to hear from some casinos, which have been really strong here lately, um, when casinos will be reporting uh, today. So watch that closely as we test some resistance. We've broken those downtrend levels, trying to make that decision. Are we ready to punch on through to the upside? or will we disappoint on those earnings? Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon that pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that quick favor, if if um, you could click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. It's the engagement with a video that helps that YouTube algorithm show this video to more folks. So if you go through um, you know, the comments today and clicking those thumbs up buttons, that helps a lot. And I wanna say thanks to everyone who does do that. You guys are truly awesome. Means the world to me. Um, I never, never expected there would be this much interest in something that a video like this that doesn't provide any prediction um, in the market, just looking at the technicals and how you may want to be focused in on the details of the day. Let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up for today. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You should always do your own due diligence. Make sure you understand the reason for every trade. Make sure you um, match that trade to your risk tolerance and your trading rules. You should never ever just follow someone else's trade idea without some good solid analysis for yourself. Let's take a look here. Now I have a bias on this trade and um, I was asked in a YouTube comment yesterday, am I still holding TLT because it um, pushed back down? Yes, I am still holding T and uh, TLT and I still will probably add to TLT as this um, sets up its next bullish pattern or well, I'm assuming it'll set up a bullish pattern. I don't know that. Um, if it sets up another bullish pattern, I will be adding to this trade. My belief is what's happening right now is we're starting to see such a demand destruction in um, the um, mortgage applications and things like that, that the banks are going to be forced to be buying up bonds to cover their deposits. They're not making enough loans to cover their deposits and provide that security. So I think that's going to happen. Also, high prices in interest rates are one of the best defenses for interest rates. And what I mean by that is we push those rates up high, the um, the market rejects them, the consumers reject them, and the banks are forced to lower those rates back down. And we're seeing some of that movement happening in the bonds. So I'm gonna stick with this for a while, but I do think there's gonna be some volatility in it. So make sure you plan your risk carefully on that trade. Now, when we take a look at um, UUP, this is gonna be a really important factor to anything in bonds in anything in the commodity sector dollar the dollar strength here has been very notable as you uh, have probably heard we're a parity with the euro it's creating lots of trouble in markets around the world putting tremendous pressure on china and japan and europe and other countries uh, because we are the reserve currency now we're going to have to watch this carefully if we see that the cpi number comes in stronger than expected we could certainly see the dollar spike and the reason that would occur is the anticipation that the fed will be more aggressive in their interest rates the other thing is um, uh, true as well. If that number comes in better than expected, we see CPI declining sharply. 
we could see a weakening of the US dollar here. Now that's going to be very, very important around all of these commodity prices and bond prices over the next couple of days. So watch that carefully. We can get a lot of movement in those currencies as a result of the CPI number. So just keep a close eye on that. Now that being said, let's take a look at some of the other things out there that could be affected. Commodity prices um, are uh, pretty susceptible uh, to um, that dollar movement. So let's take a look here. Um, I mentioned yesterday CPI and I got or CCJ and I got to tell you um, I do have a bias here. I do own some CCJ. So make your own decision carefully on this. CCJ has been running up in this upside trend and there certainly is resistance in this chart to be concerned about. But um, I like the pattern in here. I like what we have going on now. If we get major movement in the dollar. Um, where the dollar just spikes hard, that could have a negative effect here in CCJ. So just kind of remember that commodity prices react negatively to high dollar prices. So watch that closely. We're getting a nice little pop here today. You might also take a look at URA. URA is another uranium stock perking up. Plug power. Um, we're seeing quite a bit of movement um, in these um, alternative energy stocks with the passage of um, the congressional bill on green energy. So watch that close. Plug Power now pulling back. This shot up really too far too fast. And a rest or pullback in here is due. But if this were to hold a higher low in here, then watch. For that next opportunity to the upside here and you might want to even take a look at um, a stock like ballard power ballard power very much the same um, um, hydrogen power fuel cells um, that kind of thing watch this in here arrest or pullback could set up an opportunity here and that upside trend may be following along so just watch it close and then um, even into the solars um, we're getting a lot of volatility around them based on that bill passage you can see this is way too elevated in the short term probably needs a significant rest but you can look at other areas like tan tan here in the chart um, much more subdued as you can see a little rest or pullback into that support area a longer term trend maybe come into play keep an eye on tan um, run some of these stocks are looking pretty darn good now places that you might want to be a little bit careful again i want to suggest if you're thinking that the market could stumble here on that cpi you might want to keep an eye on a stock like bmi as uh, bmy as it rallies back to resistance here in the chart fairly substantial resistance and you'll see in that chart also underneath that 50-day moving average so this is the kind of chart that you might be watching for a failure pattern along that resistance here in the chart and downtrend for that potential short trade Merck would be another one of those and I've mentioned this before breaking down and, and as I suggested yesterday you don't want to chase these down you want to watch carefully for that rally back we want to sell stocks at or near price resistance we want to buy stocks at or near price support so wait for this rally to occur in here watch for that next opportunity of failure and we can see these technicals breaking down in this chart on Merck so be kind of careful with charts like that so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great results in your trading thanks so much for listening and being here today I do truly appreciate it we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning I wish you all of the best in your trading today Take care.